Beloved in Christ, may the Lord fill your minds and your heart with His peace. Today is the Wednesday of the 16th week in ordinary time, and today we celebrate the feast of St. Mary Magdalene. As usual, I've come your way with the reflections. You are reflecting on the Gospel reading of the day from the Gospel of John chapter 20 verses 1 to 2. We continue from verse 11 to 18. We reflect on the theme, the second view, the second view. Today, as we celebrate Mary Magdalene, we are presented with one of the passages that expresses a love for Christ by John for us to reflect upon. John begins with Mary going to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark. It is believed by many that Mary, probably with other women, thought of going to the tomb to complete the burial preparations because Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus may not have had a chance to prepare the body of Christ well due to circumstances. So Mary and the other women may have thought of going there to finish the task. However, Mary went there earlier, or she took the lead. Scripture qualifies it that the hour wasn't just early, but that it was also dark. Dark alone, and even a woman. Mary could have faced so many troubles, and it was dangerous for her to be out there alone at that time, yet she went. The next obstacle she was to face that could have made her mission impossible was the guard who were guarding the tomb. Were they to agree to roll the stone for her to go in? All these were wild guesses, although she trusted that things would unfold upon getting there. All these didn't matter because upon getting there she realized that the stone had been rolled and probably went inside the tomb and realized that it was empty. She then runs back to tell the other two disciples, namely Peter and John, about what has happened. The verse 3 to verse 10, which isn't part of the readings today, gives an account of what transpired between the two disciples. They outran Mary, went to the tomb and confirmed the story. The verse 8 says, John saw it and believed. Beloved, this belief isn't to draw him to faith about the resurrection. Although Christ had told them on countless occasions that he was to rise from the dead after three days. We can confirm this from the verse 9 where John categorically states that for yet they, meaning John included, did not know the scriptures that he must rise from the dead. Meaning they went home more confused and sad. First was the fact that the master was cruelly murdered and now the body is missing as they thought. With this state of confusion, they went home before Mary could even arrive at the tomb the second time. Mary was also sad, but her deeper love for Christ compelled her to wait a bit longer to search for her Savior. Searching for Christ was like searching for her lost faith. It was like searching for that truth in Scripture that she had forgotten that in three days the Savior will rise. It was like searching for something to fill that void that was inside her. It was in this period of waiting and searching that Mary took an action that changed everything. John puts it this way that she stooped to look into the tomb. That is the verse 11. This will be the second time Mary is stooping to look into the tomb because she did it the first time upon arriving there. That was how come she realized that the body wasn't there and made her run to call the other two disciples. These two disciples came and confirmed that indeed the body wasn't there. But for Mary, it wasn't a conclusion she was willing to accept. First, she stayed for a while. And in the waiting, she went for the second watch. She stooped again to look into the tomb. The second view, beloved. And this time, the tomb wasn't empty. The tomb which was once empty with only the linen cloth covering the Lord now had men dressed in white sitting at where the body had been laid, one at the foot and one at the head. This reminds us of Elijah and Kinahab. In 1 Kings 18 verses 40 to 46, after promising King Ahab of the sound of rain, Elijah asked his servant to check the clouds. The first time it had not formed. But the servant went again and the seventh time, scripture says, he saw the clouds forming and heard the sound of rain. Mary also waited patiently and took a second view 
in order to see if the Lord was there. And during this time, she encountered the Savior that she has been looking for. Mary's faith passed through four main stages, and she had to take four main steps. The first step was that she raised it all for Christ, although to her she was dead. That is, by going to the tomb early in the morning when it was still dark. Secondly, she lived on hope that she may receive favor from the soldiers to grant her that time with the Lord. Third, she was patient enough to wait around for a while. And the fourth, in the waiting, she took a second view at the tomb, which changed everything. The treasure Mary was seeking for was the Savior's body. You and I are also seeking for something from the Lord. It could be finding a way to regain our first love for the Lord. It could be that we want the Lord to touch one particular area of our life. It could be a job opportunity we are seeking for. It could be a revival in our vocation and ministry that we are seeking for. It could be that we are searching for a partner. It could be that we are seeking for the fruit of the womb. It could also be success that we are seeking for in our daily endeavors. We may have prayed, hoped, yet nothing is happening. So like the two disciples, we have decided to give up and go home. But I am encouraging you this day, beloved, that like Mary, stay for a while. And in the waiting, take a second view at the tomb. Your second view could not be letting the Lord rest. But that you will cry to him one last time and see if the heavens will not be open to you. It isn't enough just praying. It isn't enough just crying to the Lord. We need the patience to wait upon him to stay with him no matter what and in the waiting let us have one more view by looking out for the signs of the promises of god in our life once again greetings from the valley of prayer and silence and have a spirit-filled day favored of yahweh